Happy Easter! Hope that you are doing wonderful on this Easter morning. And I wanted to say to you, as the church has said for generations, Christ is risen. And you get to say back, He is risen indeed. Okay, let's practice. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Okay, now you say the Christ is risen part, and I'll say He is risen indeed. Ready? He is risen indeed. Awesome. Thank you so much. Happy Easter. I want to read you the Easter story, but I thought it was important that we start with that generations old tradition of saying Christ is risen and he is risen indeed. That has been happening in the church for centuries and it happens all across the world. I have a good friend who is Greek Orthodox and he calls me or we call, I call him and I get to say Christos Anesti, which is Christ is risen. And the response is Alitios o Kyrios. He is risen indeed. So happy Easter. We're going to read the Easter story from this children's Bible from Desmond Tutu. So I want you to follow along. Here are the beautiful images of this story. And then I will read you the story on this Easter morning as we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Jesus is alive. Two days after Jesus died, Mary and several other women went to the tomb where he had been buried. They were shocked to see that the stone that had covered the opening had been rolled away. They looked inside. Jesus' body was gone. Two angels in dazzling clothes said, Why are you looking for Jesus here? He is alive. Go tell the others. The two women rushed to tell the disciples. At first, no one believed them. Well, a little while later, the disciples gathered to talk about what had happened. And suddenly, Jesus stood right in front of them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. The disciples were so frightened that they clutched each other and trembled. But Jesus said, do not be afraid. It is me. Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me. But they still could not believe that it was Jesus alive. Give me a piece of fish, said Jesus. And he took the fish and ate it. And his followers were convinced. Jesus really was alive and back with them again. They were so happy and they laughed and they clapped their hands in joy. The prayer at the end of this Bible story says, Dear God, help me to see that Jesus lives. And here are the um, images again. Hope that you have a wonderful Easter. We cannot wait to celebrate with you when we get to gather back in the sanctuary and be all together as a family of faith. Each Sunday is a little mini celebration of Easter morning when we when we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. And so when we get back together in this sanctuary in person, we will look forward to celebrating Easter in a little way when we're all back together as a family of faith. We hope you have a wonderful day. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And your church loves you.